Every human is a spirit that has a soul and lives in a body, but many are ignorant of this reality, thereby living their lives as it comes to them. In this dynamic expose on the human spirit, Pastor Chris expounds on the importance of renewing the mind and not conforming to the lifestyle around you. Listen and be blessed. Romans chapter 12. Have you found it? I want to read from verse 1, Romans chapter 12. Paul is writing to these Roman Christians here and he says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye, everybody say ye. Who are ye? What do you mean ye? Ye is all King James language for you in plural. Okay? Good. Ye. Somebody said he was talking to ye, not me. No. <laughs> ye refers to you in plural, all of you. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies. Ye present your bodies. Uh Uh-oh. That means I'm not a body. He says for me to present my body. I should present my body. So you see, I have a body. I should present my body. So I'm not my body. So he says, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2, and be not conformed to this world. Don't be like the rest of this world. Don't conform to their ways of doing things. Somebody says, everybody cheats now. Everybody lies now. You are not everybody. He's telling you, be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. Don't buy a fake passport because people are buying fake passports. Don't do it. He says, don't do it. You don't even have a bank account. You have framed bank statements. You've designed them by yourself and forwarded them to the embassy because some other people did the same thing. Don't do it. You'll get in trouble somewhere along the line. Not with men, but with God. Don't do it. Don't do it. He says, be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. Don't be like the rest of them. Don't accept their ways. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Hallelujah. Look at it. Be ye transformed. It's a metamorphosis. A transfiguration. That's what he's saying here. Be ye transformed. A change. From one state to another, from one glory level to another, be it transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. How important your mind is. By the renewing of your mind. He says, through the renewing of your mind, you will experience a transformation by way of a metamorphosis. Which means you go from one level of glory to another. A transfiguration. Be ye transformed. Be ye transformed. Transformed. So I can be transformed. He's saying, you know what it is? I said it's a metamorphosis. It's a change from one state to another. Yet it's the same life. The same life. A transformation, a transfiguration. So, I was like this. Now I have become like this. Maybe I used to be someone who was of always afraid. That has changed. That has changed. Maybe I was loquacious, talkative. That has changed. He didn't tell me to try to change. Because if I tried... From today, I won't talk, 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 talk. From today, I won't misuse my mouth. He says, that will not work. It's not those promises. He told us how. He says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Oh, renewing your mind? My personality will be altered by the renewing of my mind. If you want to become a bold person, 
It's not by saying, okay, I'm going to be bold now. No. He says, by the renewing of your mind, you will be transformed into a bold and courageous person. If your life had been full of failure, it would change you to a man or woman of success. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the key is the renewing of my mind. Pastor Chris will be right back. Wherever you may find yourself, it is great news to know that you can position yourself above circumstances and situations in order to make progress in life. When you listen to this classic teaching by Pastor Chris titled, Advancing in Life, you will have your understanding enlightened to propel you to advance in life. This message, Advancing in Life, is available on the Pastor Chris Digital Library app and also available on audio CD at the Church Bookshop. Get your copy today. God bless you. Join Pastor Chris in this expose as he continues on how to renew your mind for a life of success and progress. How can I renew my mind? He means change your way of thinking. How can I change my way of thinking? I can only think upon the materials that I have received. You see that? Which means I can only think through the information that I have. I process the information that comes to me. So what am I going to do? I must change the information that I receive. I must begin to process new information. It's actually a reprogramming of that human person. A reprogramming. A reprogramming. Some people have been programmed for failure in life. It doesn't matter what happens. They're going to fail. It doesn't matter where you put them. They're going to fail. Why? The programming started a long time ago. They've been programmed for failure. And they have never reprogrammed themselves. doesn't matter what happens. They're going to fail. See, I tell people, it doesn't matter what you score in class, in school. It matters what you score in life. Some have distinctions in school, but they have a D in life. Things just don't work out well. Their success in anything doesn't show in their life. Their life is just a failure. Because they were programmed for failure. And they can't understand why. Be ye transformed. It says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind. Reprogram your mind. Renew your mind. How? Receiving new information. For example, now that you are born again, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. So what? I say, now that I am in Christ, I am a new creation. This is new information. I am a new creation. I'm not the creation of the past of failure. I'm a new creation, full of success and the life of God. So I know that God lives in me. I have the life of God in me. The things I used to suffer, maybe I was born with that disease. Maybe I was born with that infirmity. No, I'm not that way anymore. I've got a new life. I'm a child of God now. A new creation now. See, my, my way of thinking has changed. See, i got new information. And it's spiritual information. The human person must be changed from within. From within. Glory to God. I'm a new creation. Got the life of God in me. I got the life of God in me. You say that all the time. I got the life of God in me. In my spirit, my soul, and my body. I'll never be sick. Hallelujah. Got the life of God in me. Hallelujah. I'm a success. Because I have the life of God in me. The greater one lives in me. You see, this is new information from the Word of God. And I'm being reprogrammed. So when others say life is hard, I can't think like that. I can't think like that because my mind has been renewed. I've been reprogrammed. And I've become an oasis of love in a troubled world. 
I'm different. I think differently. Say that. Say, I'm different. I'm different. I think differently. I think differently. Say it again. I'm I think yeah. I'm a success irrespective of the surrounding situation. Say that with me. I'm a success, I'm a success. Irrespective, irrespective of the surrounding situation. Yeah. Because I am a light in a dark world. That's it. I'm a light in the dark world. The darker the world around me, the brighter I shine. So when life looks dark, don't cry with the others. They've been programmed for that darkness. Be not conformed to this world of darkness and pain and failure. Don't conform to that world around you. Don't seek the same solutions that they try. But be it transformed, transfigured, transformed from glory to glory by the renewing of your mind. Glory to God. Say, I know who I am. Say again, I know who I am. I'm a success. This world belongs to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, hey, hey. This world belongs to me. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Until next time, remember, one word from God can change your life forever. God bless you.